wish I could share the feeling that I'm feeling right now with you because I just did something that I'm like super proud of. You guys probably remember our Traxxas from last year at the beach. Hitting that girl with my truck, I took it into the ocean and that's what happened. Not good at all. I decided that I wanted this truck to be fixed and I did just that. I ended up ordering a new motor and I got a new ESC, which is electronic speed controller. I ended up taking the old ones off, which are sitting right here. Here's the old motor and I think this was probably why this thing wasn't working. This got a whole bunch of salt water in it. It was smoking, it was bad. I wasn't sure if this was bad or not, so I just went ahead and replaced it all. This on Amazon would have cost me like $80 to replace these two things. I got them on eBay and spent about 50. Last night I installed everything that needed to go on to here and I put a new, or actually I got the rust off of the pinion gear that's inside here that you can't see because I just got it buttoned up. But all the rust is gone. The sand is now on the table and I blew the rest of it off using my air compressor. And I think this thing is ready to run almost like a brand new truck, Clark, man. Brand new, brand used, from the ocean back to Pennsylvania, almost a year later, we're gonna be running our tracks as Stampede. I'm so excited. I just drilled a hole into this body this morning for the antenna to go through. I love this body. I bought this right before we went to the beach last year. I think it looks just epic. And the only time that it got ran was, oh, I should probably put the battery in before we put the top on, Claire. This is kind of an important part too. You guys definitely want to have a battery in your truck. He's been excited to do that though. So let's plug this thing in here. Imagine the camera work that's happening right now, guys. This is uh, one-handed. That's how it's done. One thing that I did lose at the beach, did I tell you about this, Clark? What? There's a little bar that goes right across this right here to hold the battery in. Mm -hmm. That didn't come back with us for some reason. Uh, but, uh, is that, maybe it's out in the ocean right now. Probably floating around out there somewhere. <laughs> okay, go ahead and put that on. We got the truck on. You get to do this all over again. You get to put the antenna in there. Feed it through, clock man. Feed it through. Bam. That'll be the last time you have to do it. All right, let me put these on here. You just gotta line these little posts up. I'll do the back. So there's that post. Your post good up there? Yep. Okay. I've good. got a whole bunch of pins. These were just sitting in there inside the truck when I found it. That's sitting a little high, it looks like. There we go. Beautiful. All right. You're gonna be the first runner, Clark, man. Yeah. Let's take her outside and give her a rip out in the driveway. It flips like like the whole body. Give it a shot. Man. <laughs> I forgot how fast yeah. <laughs> the first of many. It's a little speedy. Go a little easy. There you go. The Traxxas is nothing to mess around with, Clark Man. Is it a little bit? Yeah. Let me take it down once. That thing's a beast, isn't it? See what you think. Much better. Much better. This is a controller if you guys haven't seen these before. <laughs> Look at that dude. Oh my gosh, Clark, I'm so darn excited. It's fixed. I love it. My plan was just to use this as a parts truck. I was gonna get another one and now uh oh, my, ba my battery. Hold on, hold on, don't go. This is why you need that part in there, Clark, man. <laughs> when you go over a little bit of a bump, I might have to go on Amazon and order that. I might want to make this hole a little bit bigger too, I noticed, trying to get that through there. Bloop. I wonder if I could fashion something to go across there. We could probably put a rubber band around it, but I want to get that. It's like a plastic piece that goes across. We could probably borrow that actually from Bigfoot. I'm pretty sure Bigfoot has that same thing inside of him because he's just Bigfoot on body. The inside, he is, he's a stampede at heart. He's fast. Who? This guy? Yeah. You know, I was thinking about that. I could have probably put an even faster motor on it while I was redoing it. I could have upgraded this thing, but I just, I wanted to keep it stock because 
it's what we know. And now I know how to fix everything. I fixed the suspension on this. I fixed that. I fixed that. I fixed uh, the pinion gear in here. One time that got ripped up. I fixed almost everything on that truck. At some point you have to ask yourself, when do you stop putting money into this truck? Because it can get kind of expensive when you're fixing these. And a new one is like, like $180 or so. So it does get pricey rather quickly, but there's our part. We're just gonna borrow this from you, Bigfoot and put it on here. I'm sure I could find one of those online, which we'll probably do. Cause I, I was thinking, oh, we don't really need it. Spoiler alert. Yeah, we you, do. you do. And we should be back to good to go. I was gonna make a Greg's RC garage video of this whole fixing experience. Cause it was actually pretty cool, but I wasn't sure if it was gonna work. I should have just filmed it, but it is fixed. And uh, you're ready to run again, Clark, man. Hopefully with the battery staying in this time. Bigfoot's sad. He had parts stolen. It's turning to the right again. Are you serious? Yeah. Let me see that thing. Find that you're having those issues. Mm -hmm. You just start turning that knob right there, left and right, and then that'll fix it for you. But it should be fixed now. Wait. Whoops. Hey, it's good for me now. Ready? Oh, I thought that's a flip on this one. Good to go. Don't hit Bigfoot. Almost took your feet out. Your toes! We don't uh, wear shoes, apparently. Oh. He's two wheel drive. He's two wheel drive there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two wheel drive. No bueno. I like it for the stunts, though. We got him fixed up. Another truck added to the fleet. We're back in the fleet, I suppose. Thanks to a little bit of fixing on the Traxxas Stampede with the party boy body. I'm gonna puke. Get me off this ride. I'm gonna die. Don't go too fast. I am skeeting around there. You knew it was going to happen eventually. I got a new massager. <laughs> I can ramp it right up your foot if you want no. to. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> One of my favorite hobbies. RCing and also chasing and terrorizing my kid. But I'm super happy to have the Stampede back in the collection, back in the rotation. And you'll be seeing plenty more of this guy this summer in RC season 2022. That's it, I'm going for him. <laughs> Go ahead, Clark. Parents that are thinking about buying RC trucks, go ahead and do it. Just just go ahead and Traxxas.com. Pick one up. They don't sponsor us, but I wish they did. Okay, okay, okay. You ch oh, I just ran myself over. Karma is real.